class. Welcome to today's experiment. Today we are going to do the yeast in a bottle demonstration. I'm Dr. Alden and this is my assistant Lizzie. Hi. So hopefully you've read the lab already and you have an idea of what we are going to do. We have all of our equipment here out on a tray. We have a bottle or flask. Flask. We have a balloon. We have 250 milliliters of water measured out. And what temperature is that water at, Elizabeth? Water is at 45 degrees Celsius. We have active dry yeast. Don't spill it. We have sugar in a sugar jar. And we have a funnel in order to make sure all of our solids go into our flask. And we also have two sets of measuring spoons so we don't contaminate any of our uh, dry goods. So the first thing that Lizzie is going to do is she is going to, I am going to remove the thermometer, and she is going to pour 250 milliliters don't forget, of water into the flask. In the lab. Oh my goodness, we forgot the safety procedures. That's right, we have our goggles on. There is no food or drink in the lab. Thank you, Lizzie, for that reminder. Put that away. And we have all of our equipment on a handy dandy tray so that it's easy to clean up spills. Our next step is to add the active dry yeast. So Lizzie is going to use one set of tablespoons and add a tablespoon, full tablespoon of active dry yeast to our container. And now we are going to swirl. We're going to try not to swirl too hard because we don't want too much of that active dry yeast getting stuck on the side of our flask. Next, Lizzie is going to add two tablespoons of sugar using the other set of spoons. One. Two. Okay, Lizzie. Now while I swirl, Lizzie is going to blow up our balloon two or three times to stretch it out. job, Lizzie. Everybody should have an assistant like you. Now we are going to place this balloon over the top of the flask. Can you hold the flask, please? It's fine. We will set our timer for 20 minutes, and we will wait and see what happens. 